Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever it is for you. Welcome back to another Division 2 video. My name is Prime, it's Wednesday, so we're gonna have a look at Cassie Mendoza and I'm gonna show you all the must buys from the rest of the week because I just came back from a little vacay and I missed yesterday. So I will show you everything, but don't worry. We're gonna fly through there and I'm gonna show you all the must buys in my opinion. So let's dive right into it and let's start with the countdown vendor. And there we are, the Relic, the Anarchist Cookbook and the Emperor's Guard knee pads are for sale here and the Emperor's Guards are of course the ones you want to look out for as this is a DZ exclusive. I wish it had a little bit more different roles than that repair skills on there but if you still don't have it, if you have to go up to proficiency level for example, pick it up, this is a DZ exclusive. And here we are at the White House and the Lankmo Carpenter named chess pieces for sale here and you definitely, definitely want to pick up a bunch. Because of course this is the new brand set, you can pick it up, you can pick up up to 20 of those and you can put it all the way to proficiency rank. As you can see I only have it on proficiency rank 0, I only gave away one of these chess pieces so I need to buy 19 of those to get it to a full proficiency rank of 10. So if you have enough money, in-game money, buy a bunch and give them to your expertise system so you do not have to rank that up or find of course duplicates. And for the clan vendor we don't really have that much nice buys but for example the tip of the spear holster comes with 10.6% critical hit damage and 12.8% weapon damage. So if you're still looking for that one definitely pick it up. You can maybe even pick up the military mk17 as this comes with determined not the newest talent of course but if you're still looking for a determined talent on an assault rifle to roll into your recalibration station definitely pick it up you can pick it up at the clan vendor but that's pretty much it for the clan vendor in my opinion and then for the theater in my opinion you can pick up the mob this is of course the named shotgun with 10 percent armor on kill and comes with ignited the rolls aren't that great but if you're still looking for it you can pick it up at the theater and next to that these knee pads of golden are very nice as well especially if you want to go for an armory generation build in combination with crit this already comes with hazard protection and critical hit chance so you can roll that hazard protection away for some arm regeneration optimize the rest and this is a great great addition for your crit arm regeneration build and then for the castle we can find the Picaro's holster with of course that 15% weapon damage on there and that 8.7% hazard protection. So if you're still looking for the Picaro's holster, maybe even with that hazard protection on there, pick it up at the castle. And there we are at DZ East and the good times is for sale here. Of course, this is the named LMG that will come with perfect fast hands. You can pick it up if you're still looking for it, but it's not really a great buy in my opinion the attributes are way too low and as we know if we scroll all the way down you can pick up your exotic cash as well for 170 dz crats so go for it if you want to pick that up and then we have the perfect bloodsucker at DZ South. This already comes with 4.3% critical hit chance on there. So you can roll that half away for some critical hit damage, for example. And of course, the perfect bloodsucker is on this backpack. Yes, it's in the DZs, but man, pick it up. This is a very, very nice one. We can't change it into full reds. But this is a very, very good one if you ask me. And then we are at the last DZ, DZ West, and we can find the Empress Guard's knee pads again. And these have, of course, the 1% armor generation, but are now 7.4% explosive resistance. So still, the one at the countdown vendor is the better buy, as it is a lot cheaper. Because this is 152 DZ crats and the other you only need countdown requisition points for it. So if you're looking for it and you want to buy one of those, go for the countdown vendor. 
And there we are at Cassie. We can find, of course, the Relic and the Anarchus Cookbook. Again, same as we can find at the Countdown Vendor. So if you want to pick one of those up for Countdown Requisition Points, go for the Countdown. If you want to spend your in-game a money and want to pick up one of those... Go for Cassie for your in a game of money. Then we have the Shield Splinter. Could be a decent buy. It's a little bit low on attributes, if you ask me. And of course, this comes with Perfect Optimist. We have the Hunter Killer with double yellow on there. So, no. No, thank you. If you don't see the Shield Splinter or if you don't see the Hunter Killer, that means that you need to take out all the Hunters that the game has to offer. For the Shield Splinter, take out all the year one Hunters. And for the Hunter Killer, take out all the year two Hunters. The year two Hunters are the Hunters that were added to the game with Warlords of New York. So, Backpack of Tip of the Spear, not really worth it in my opinion. Uh, chest of Tip of the Spear could be a little bit of a better buy. True Patriot Gloves. Health on there, no thank you. Future Initiative knee pads, no thank you for the explosive resistance. Ace of Eights holster, 12.4 weapon damage, could be decent if you're still looking for it. Mask of Rigor with 9% status effect on there. The tactical MK16 comes with sledgehammer. 13.2% assault rifle damage, so if you want to go for the sledgehammer talent, then roll that stability away. M700 tactical, could be a little bit better, comes with in sync. Gloves of Petrov, 12.2% weapon damage, 4.5% critical hit chance, and 10.8% critical hit damage. And this is what you want to have on there, or maybe a little bit more weapon handling. This is a great, a great buy if you're still looking for it, so pick it up. Knee pads of Providence, same it comes with max out critical hit chance and 7.2% headshot damage so you only have to optimize a few things to get this to god roll for of course a headshot providence build and then over to the mods the 10.3% skill haste and the 6.6 .6 duration for your drone but that's pretty much it a quick and easy vendor reset of course this is a double one normally i will show you the normal vendor reset on tuesday and cassie on wednesday but because i just came back from vk i put them together so hopefully you find something to pick up let me know in the comments down below what you picked up and what type of builds you're making thanks for sticking until the end you are a freaking legend if you're still here like the video if you like the video or helped you out in any way or form and of course if you're new here you want to be updated about the division universe the division 2 and the future division 3 make sure to hit that subscribe button as well and i'll see you in the next one Pure Prime out.